Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist and Pirate here, and in today's fun Squirrel Saw project video, got a holiday theme project. I trust you all had a happy and safe Thanksgiving 2020 wherever you're at in the world during this time of year. I got to spend time with my family. We got to eat and hang out and share old stories. It was amazing. Got to see some family members I don't normally get to see a lot. Really awesome. I had fun and I was thankful for the fellowship I got to have with them. I've also got the workshop decorated some here. I didn't go overboard with Christmas decorations because it is a dusty workshop and a wood shop. So I just went with some lights around the sticker wall and then my Jolly Roger got into the Christmas spirit with a Santa hat and then I've got a little Christmas tree there sitting on the radio beside the speakers. But as I said, this project is designed to bring in the holidays and the true meaning of Christmas. It is designed by Steve Good, and it represents the virgin birth. And the really what it represents is the greatest gift of all to the world, and that is the gift of the Savior, Jesus Christ. There you see the nativity scene, the holy night star, and the words holy night here in fancy letters at the bottom. This is a two-page pattern. I've already got it printed out and attached to the wood with clear packing tape. It's a two-page pattern, so I had to cut it out and attach it on the dotted line. Real simple. And I've got it attached to the wood, and our material is one piece of quarter-inch plywood and one piece of eighth-inch plywood. We're going to knock this out over on the scroll saw. Then we're going to find a piece of plywood to make a backer board out of it with the little washer technique I like to do and paint it and get this looking nice. And I hope you guys like watching me make this. So let's head up to the drill press, drill our pilot holes, so we can come back and get on the scroll saw. And over here on the drill press, we're going to begin by drilling all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And then we will head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I am using number 5 Ultra Reverse Shark Tooth Scroll Saw Blades. And they are cutting through the material really well. And I want to go on and say that the little star that's within the star here at the top I'm cutting out now broke and it was my fault. So throughout the process of cutting I just decided to go on and just cut the smaller star out completely. And I'm sure you'll notice it at the end of the video. But I just wanted to let you guys know that it was my fault and it wasn't nothing that the scroll saw done. But I'm going through here and doing a lot of the smaller internal cuts first if you guys would like to try this pattern it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Goods scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in the free pattern catalog again the blade is cutting through the material really well minimal chip out which reduces a lot of the sanding time and doing some of the final internal cuts here and then we'll do the final outside cut which will release the two pieces from the wood and with stack cutting I always like to start with a pilot hole instead of just coming in from outside of the material and that just leaves the wood more stable and solid while you're doing your final outside cut when stack cutting. Just taking my time with it and letting the blade do the work. Now over here on the workbench we'll remove the pattern and the two pieces and I will take a washer and a fine tip sharpie so it'll show up on camera and I'll trace around the border like you see me doing and that leaves a perfect 1 8 inch border all the way around the piece you can use different size washers for different thicknesses of borders but this is a trick I really like to do and it really gives an added detail to scroll saw projects And then we'll go back over to the scroll saw and use the same number five ultra reverse shark tooth scroll saw blade to cut this piece out. It is half inch material. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel 
and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support and interacting with all you guys. Now over here on the other workbench we're going to sand it with 100 grit sandpaper with the palm sander and do touch up sanding off camera with 220 grit sandpaper and then we will take the backer board outside to spray paint it a nice burgundy color and I give it a couple coats and I let that dry and then I brought that back into the workshop to glue the two pieces together with Gorilla Wood glue and basic spring clamps and you guys know I like to use the strips of wood to make sure that pressure is added onto some of the details in the middle of the scroll work and after I let that dry around an hour and set up I came back and removed the clamps and the strips of wood and I took the piece outside one more time to clear coat it with some clear coat gloss and I gave it a few coats and let that dry and the project was complete. And here we have the completed Holy Night Christmas Star. I think it turned out great. The clear coat really brought the grain to the forefront in the quarter inch plywood. It came out great. The words Holy Night came out great. Really sharp and crisp designs and I really love it. Good morning's work out here in the workshop making this and the reason it took a whole morning to make it is because you had cutting time, painting time, then you had drying time, then glue time, then again waiting for that to dry, and then clear coating it. All in all, I had a fun time out here in the workshop today making this. I hope you guys like it. Off camera, I did add a leather cord here, as you can see, so it can be hung from a door or on the wall. I think it would look real nice hanging on a door, um, maybe a white door or maybe a darker colored door. I think that would really pop with the color of the wood here. Really awesome design. Thank you, Steve Good, for this amazing design celebrating the true meaning of Christmas and that is the birth of Jesus Christ. I hope you guys like this project. I know I enjoyed making it here today for you guys over on YouTube and remember if I can make it or do it so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.